Good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video, I will teach you about determining the equation of a quadratic function given first a table of values, second is for the graph, or third is the zeros. So first, let us determine the equation of a quadratic function if the given is a table of values. So let us consider this given table of values of x and y. We have the values of x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And for the y, we have 5, 11, 19, 29, 41, 55, and 71. So for the solution, let the quadratic function f be of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are to be determined. Let us consider any three ordered pairs, x, y, from the table. So, dito sa ating equation or sa ating solution, gamitin natin yung ordered pairs na 1, 5, 3, 19, and 4, 29. So, iyon yung magiging equation 1, 2, and 3 natin. And then, so simulan natin sa first ordered pair, 1, 5. So, yung value ng x na 1 ay isa-substitute natin sa mga variable x sa equation na ito. And then, yung value na 5 ng y ay isubstitute natin sa variable y ng formula. Therefore, equation 1 will be 5 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Again, the value of y will be 5 equals a. And the value of x is 1 squared plus b times the value of x dahil bx plus c. So, let us now simplify this by multiplying a to 1 squared or 1 times 1 to a and then b times 1. So this will be 5 equals a plus b plus c because 1 times 1 is 1 times a is 1a or a only. b times 1 is b and then copy the plus c. And then for the equation 2, let us now substitute the ordered pair 3, 19 to the equation. So this will be 19 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 1, ah, sorry, b times 3 plus c. So, this will be 19 equals 9a because 3 times 3 is 9a plus 3b plus c. For the third equation, let us use the 429 and then substitute to the formula. So, this will be 29 equals a times 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. So simplify, so this will be 29 equals 16a because 4 times 4 is 16 plus 4b plus c. So meron na tayong equation na 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So kailangan pa natin hanapin yung equations 4 and 5 para mahanap natin yung equation ng quadratic function. So, for us to find the equation 4, we have to subtract the equation 2 to equation 1. Again, equation 2, subtract to equation 1. And for us to find the equation 5, we have to subtract equation 3 to equation 2. So, dun muna tayo sa equation 4. So, for the equation 4, we will just subtract 19 to 5, 9a to a, 3b minus b, and c minus c. So, C, uh, C minus C, automatic, that is 0. So, hindi na kabilang yung variable C. C. So, magiging 14 equals 8A plus 2B. Because 19 minus 5 is 14. 9A minus A is 8A. And 3B minus B is 2B. So, meron na tayo. Uh, let us simplify this. 14 minus 8A plus 2B to 7 equals 4A plus B. Paano naging ganito yung resulting equation ng equation 4? Ito ay dahil, dahil uh, ang buong equation nito ay kayang i-divide sa 2. So, we divided the whole equation to 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 2 divided by 2 is B. So, that is our equation 4. Next, the equation 5. Subtract equation 3 to 2. So, 29 minus 19. So, the resulting equation 5 will be 10 equals 7a plus b. Because 29 minus 19 is 10. 16 minus, uh, 16a minus 9a is 7a. 
And 4B minus 3B is B. And then again, zero, uh, cancel yung dalawang C. Therefore, the equation 5 is 10 equals 7A plus B. So, kompleto na yung ating limang equations. Let us now proceed to the next solution. Solve for the values of A, B, and C. So, paano ba natin isosolve yung values ng A, B, and C? Kailangan natin gamitin yung nakuha nating limang equations. And then, to solve for A, simulan natin sa paghahanap ng value ng A. So, to solve for A, we have to subtract the equation 5 to equation 4. So, let us rewrite 10 equals 7A plus B minus 7 equals 4A plus B. So, let us now subtract each term. So, 10 minus 7 is 3 equals 7A minus 4A equals 3A. And then, B minus B is 0. So, i-cancel lang natin. So, the resulting equation will be 3 equals 3A. Pero may numerical coefficient pa yung 3a natin dito. So, let us divide the whole equation by 3. Therefore, the value of a is equal to 1 because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, ngayon meron na tayong value ng a. For us to solve for the value of b, let us substitute the value of a na nakuha natin kanina which is 1 in equation 4 or equation 5. So, alin man sa dalawa ang ating gagamitin para mahanap natin yung b ay ganun pa rin or magiging tulad lang yung sagot. So, let us use the equation for 7 equals 4a plus b. So, we will just substitute the value of a na nakuha natin which is 1 to the variable a. So, magiging 7 equals 4 times 1 plus b. And then, simplify. 7 equals 4 plus b. And then, let us transpose 4 to the left side of the equation para magsama yung dalawang constant. So, magiging negative 4. And then, the value of B is positive 3 because 7 minus 4 is 3. Next, to solve for C, substitute A equals 1 and B equals 3. Iyon yung mga values na nakuha natin dito kanina. Ganon din sa value ng B. In any equation, it's either in 1, 2, or 3. So, gamitin natin yung equation 1 para mahanap natin yung value ng C. So, 5 equals A plus B plus C. I-substitute natin ang value ng A at B na nakuha natin kanina. So, magiging 5 equals 1 plus 3 plus C. And then, combine the constants. So, this will be 5 equals 1 plus 3 is 4 plus C. And then, transpose positive 4 to the left side, magiging negative 4. Therefore, the value of C is 1. So, ngayon, meron na tayong values ng A, B, at C. Let us now uh, transform this into equation. Thus, the quadratic function determined by the table is y equals x squared plus 3x plus 1. Paano naging ganito yung equation? Susundan natin yung equation na y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Dahil ang nakuha nating a ay 1, so hindi na tayo maglalagay ng 1 dito. x squared na lang. And then, plus bx, so yung b ay yung 3, and plus c, so ang nakuha nating value naman ng c is 1. At iyan na yung final answer. So next, determining the equation using the graph. So we have the given graph for the equations y equals x squared plus x minus 12, and y equals 3x squared plus 3x minus 36. So, let us use this given equation. So, find the solutions for the equation 3x squared plus 3x minus 36 equals 0. The equation can be solved by factoring. So, let us factor this given equation. So, i-factor out muna natin yung kanilang common factor which is 3 since kaya silang i-divide sa 3. So, this will be 3 times the quantity of x squared plus x minus 12. Because 3 times x squared is 3x squared, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 12 will be negative 36. Okay, so itong ating uh, trinomial na x squared plus x minus 12 must be uh, in two factors. So, i-factor natin ang trinomial na ito sa dalawang binomials. So, magiging 3, bring down lang natin ito times x plus 4 times x minus 3 equals 0. Paano naging x plus 4 and x minus 3? Ang x squared plus x minus 12. 
Ito ay dahil hinanap natin yung dalawang numbers that when we multiply, the product is ne negative 12. And when we add or subtract, the product or the answer will be positive 1 or positive x. So positive 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And 4 minus 3 is positive 1. So meron na tayong dalawang factors. Let us now um, find the values or the two values of x by equating the two binomials in 0. So 3 is not equal to 0 since ang 3 ay hindi katulad ng value ng 0. Next, x plus 4 is equal to 0 and the other is x minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, para mahanap natin yung dalawang values ng x, we will just transpose positive 4 to the right side. Ganon din ang negative 3 to the right side of the equation. Therefore, the value of the first x is negative 4 and the value of the second x will be positive 3 dahil kapag nag-transpose tayo ng constant, magbabago ang kanilang sign. So, iyan na yung dalawang values ng x. Note, working backward will create an equation. But remember that there are other equations that will also have that same set of solutions. Last is determining the equation of a quadratic function using or given the zeros. If the x-intercepts are negative 3, 0 and 4, 0, we know that the roots or zeros of the equation will be x equals negative 3 and x equals 4. So, paano ba natin hahanapin ang equation kung ang given ay dalawang values ng x? So, para tayong pabaligtad na magsasagot, so ganito ang gagawin natin, i-transpose natin ang negative 3 to the left side at ganun din ang positive 4 to the left side para um, mahanap natin yung x plus or x minus. So, this will be y equals x plus 3 times x minus 4. Because when we transposed negative 3 to the left side, that will be positive 3. And neg uh, positive 4 will now become negative 4. Next is to multiply the two binomials. It's either by FOIL method or in any uh, method that you can. So that kaya nyong hanapin yung trinomials ng given binomials. So let us get the product by FOIL method. First, outer, inner, and last. So, the product will be y equals x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. So, isa-isahin natin yung FOIL method. First is the letter F. So, that is first. First term. So, x times x is x squared. Letter O is for the outer. So, x times negative 4 will be negative 4x. Next is the inner. Positive 3 times x is positive 3x. And and the fourth letter is L, which is last. So, positive 3 times negative 4 will be negative 12. So, next is to simplify. So, let us combine the two terms. Since pareho silang may variable x, hindi kabilang ang x squared dahil may exponent siya na 2. At yung dalawang uh, term dito ay may exponent naman na 1. So, let us combine the like terms negative 4x and positive 3x. So, the equation will be y equals x squared minus x minus 12 because negative 4x plus 3x is negative x. And that is the equation if the given are two zeros. So, let us now summarize this lesson. You can determine the equation of a quadratic function given first a table of values na kung saan hahanapin nyo yung 5 equations and then solve for the values of x, uh, a, b, and c. And then, iyon yung kukompleto sa equation. Second is by graph. And the last is using zeros. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa aking video tutorial na ito. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!